Elkin. And I'm Robert Collins. Today's top story, student creativity takes center stage. Last Thursday and Friday, our Theater 3 class adapted, directed, and starred in their own production of Laughing Stock at the Adrian Theater in Philadelphia. The play is about a well-intentioned community theater troupe trying to put on three plays at once. Matt Lipson led the cast with a terrific performance, while Alex Ramsey, Scott Gallant, Gordon Shoemaker, and Raheel Patel added comedy in their supporting roles. Joe Cilio and Andrew Herm deserve much praise for their directorial efforts. Now let's take a look at some clips from Laughing Stock. Once again, welcome. It's going to be uh, a terrific, uh, a wonderful, uh, a great summer. And one piece of wisdom for us all. Speak the speech. Oh, and Barbara wishes us all her very best, especially you, Stefan from Palm Beach. Speak the speech. Oh, and don't let me forget to, to introduce our hard-working apprentices, Karma, Ian, and Brown. It's Brawn, actually. Brown. Brawn. Speak the speech, <laughs> trippingly, I pray you, to the movements to the actions, and the actions to the movements, to hold, as if a mirror, up to nature. Oh, God. Now, uh, there's beer and wine on the props table. Oh, oh, and soft drinks! Soft drinks too, Sarah! Chip. Acting, Sarah. Acting. Oh, acting. Uh, Tyler, I don't oh, know. Oh, no, no, no. Let me show you, Gordon. Let me just show you. Now, I haven't really worked on it yet. It's not fully internalized and it would need music. I'll hug something from Jekyll and Hyde. But this is kind of the idea. living soul was found aboard, only the body of one poor seaman whose throat had been strangely torn open as if by some animal, and strangely a large and wolf-like dog was seen leaping from the vessel. The strange schooner had only a small cargo, a number of large, strange wooden boxes full of earth. Hmm, strange. <laughs> 11 August. Jonathan, my fiancé, has returned from Transylvania, but so changed. He will not speak of these events that occurred. My, the fog is so thick tonight. It could have been worse. Could it? No one died. I thought it was pretty funny when Richfield went for Tyler with the hammer. Yeah, pretty funny. Gordon, don't worry about it. It's one performance. We'll sort out the technical stuff, and next time the actors will remember their props. Richfield might even remember some of the right names. Yeah. Gordon. It's just a play. Yeah. It's only a play. Only a company of actors like Daisy and Richfield, who've been coming here since they were teenagers. And Craig, who has no other life. This is their home. Andy McAllister was out here tonight. He saw his first play here in 1938, and tonight he brought his grandson to see his first play. It's only a 67-year-old theater. I'm sorry, honey. Reporting from his imprisonment in a Siberian gulag, Mike Kane, our man on the street, spent his day of freedom at open mic night. He's the man in the gulag. <laughs> Michael Kane. Hello, I'm Michael Kane, and you've joined me in the winter of my discontent. But even on a dark night in a Siberian gulag. A bright light shines from the east. 
In the previous week, I had the sublime pleasure of attending Haverford's very own Open Mic Night. The third most important artistic event of the past century, surpassed in significance only by the 1913 opening night of Stravinsky's Rites of Spring, and the 2009 Los Angeles premiere of Crank 2 High Voltage. He was dead, but he got better. It's not burning holes for me I'm gasoline I'm burning clean Twentieth century goes sleep In order to honor these students who so bravely exposed themselves to the world like shaved Labradors enduring the bitter cold of a harsh Volga Gradian Night. I have created a series of awards named after members of the erstwhile Russian Empire. I call them the Ruskies. <laughs> the Konstantin Pavlovich Award for most intimidating battle cry goes to Nicholas Alexander. The Nicholas I Make a Mean Greek Salad Romanov Award for Most Surprising Hidden Talent goes to Stephen Molitor. The Alexander Pushkin Award for Literary Excellence will be shared between Jack Rosenberg, Dean Feynman, and John Weiss. With a violent push against the firm winter ground and a clean leap across the water, it pounces in our head. A crunch, the crunch, a quick reminder. You'd amaze me, pouring ingredients from the stock with no measure, and always get the right amount. And when all was done, there lingered a sweet smell in our minds, just like you said would. His hair is brown, slightly parted to the right, as if told to stay there. He lacks any unique characteristic, except for a thick brown mustache. He descends from the bridge of his nose and slithers down the sides of his top lip like two serpents conjoined at the tail. The Rasputin Award for Best Repeat Performance goes to the farm. The Captain Marco Ramius Award for Calmness Under Pressure goes to Tom Hopkins. The Gary Oldman Award for Best Supporting Actor goes to Zach Waldman. I can't keep this speed, it's moving in. I know I can't. The Fidel Castro Award for Citizenship and Diplomacy goes to La Bahios de Cochinos. Ivan the Terrible Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Chris Spencer. That's the word from the Gulag. I'm Michael Caine. Das Vidania, Haverford. And that's the news. Tuesday, December 15th, 2009. I'm Orman Melikin. And I'm Robert Collins. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good holiday.